Wix finally did it. Guys, Michael Strauch here presenting to you today Wix's first ever paid membership solution on the platform. Guys, you have been asking me about this for literally years and it is finally here. Wix has implemented some major, major changes with all this new Wix code platform and now we have the ability to create custom reoccurring monthly membership payments and offer those people access to certain pages that only apply and are applicable to their membership. This is what we've been waiting for. So this is Wix's in-house solution. I want you guys to also know I'm working with another team that's involved in the Wix Design Experts group that is also building something similar to this. So there's going to be some variety out there. So there's no reason to not have any method to this. We now have a seamless solution. Let's dive right into it, guys. So if we're here on a Wix website, um, you know, we're just on a random one here, and we decide we want to go ahead and create a paid membership website. Well, I'm going to walk you through how to add the paid plans, assign membership levels, and assign those levels to certain pages. So they'll have access to certain pages. So what we're first going to do is we're going to go to the add apps and we're simply going to type in, I, you can see I already typed in pricing plans. Well, it's this paid plans app right here. We'll click on it. And then you can see it makes it easy, increase sales, customize payment, build customer loyalty with one time or reoccurring payments, promote recommended plans and manage your plans and customer info all through the Wix CRM. So we're going to click add to site right here. When we do that, it's going to add a page. This is going to be our pricing page. This is where we're going to have our different membership levels. Some of you may only have one membership level and that's totally fine. You can see I already got here and started messing around a little bit because I want to put some use to it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in here and we see settings. Let's first go into the settings of this. Uh, we have our main, which is the manage the paid plans, and then we have our actual settings here. So it says, what would you like to show? And you can choose to show the page uh, header, name, tagline, benefits. You can choose to show all of that right here through this page. And then you can actually choose to highlight a certain plan if you have multiple plans. So I'll show you how that looks following the addition of a couple more plans we add here. Next is your layout. So you can choose whether it's centered, if it's left aligned, right aligned, and the spacing. And then if you have any dividers in there as well. And then you have your text, so you can actually name what your, or customize, excuse me, what your heading is here, this headline. In this case, it's choose your pricing plan. You can change that. And then you can change the button name as well uh, from something different than select. And then, of course, as always, you have the ability to customize the design, the colors of the background, the button color, the text, the style of the text, the color of the text, all that good stuff straight from this paid plans setting portion. Now guys, now that we know the settings, let's head to the main portion, which is to actually manage these paid plans here. So you can see, like I said, I already started messing around a little bit with the app, which is so cool. Um, and I'm so happy Wix has finally done this. It's going to make lives so much easier. So like I said, already started messing around. I added one membership level here called gold. To add another one, you simply go here to create plan. You come in here, you add a title. We'll call this one silver. We're going to go very basic with these. I'm just going with basic colors. You can add a tagline if you want. And then right here, you actually list what your plan includes. So um, I'll just say free webinars. Okay. And then if you have multiple line items of things that are included with this plan, you just simply click add more add more, add more, and you just list out all the benefits they receive with that particular plan. If you want to delete one, you just click this little trash can right here, remove, 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 and then you have to add the duration. So how long is this plan valid for? So is it valid for a month, three months, six months, a year, two years, or until the user cancels? You could also add a custom value. So maybe it's like 33 days. I don't know. That's a random number, but maybe it is you can add your custom value there. But likely, 
if you're running a membership website, you're gonna have until the user cancels, which is a very intuitive process and easy to do and all the tracking is so much more simple now. We'll get into that. So we'll have until the user cancels and then down here, here's the cool part guys, this is where most of you run into that little problem, well this whole process is, but where you run into that problem of a reoccurring payment membership website. Now, how often do you want to get paid? Is this a one-time payment or a reoccurring monthly payment? So we're going to say it's reoccurring. The gold was $99 a month. We'll go with $79 a month and we click save. And then for the hell of it, we will go ahead and create a platinum as well. So we could have just three membership levels and I could show you how this works. Platinum membership, um, everything plus live training. Perfect, and then we'll just call it that. Duration until the user cancels. Uh, we want this to be a recurring monthly payment, and we want this one to be uh, 129 a month. Cool, okay, so we now have the three membership plans that we want. Again, you guys can create as many plans as you want, as little plans as you want, and they don't have to be monthly recurring payments. They could just be a one-time annual payment plan. Well, no, that would still be in the reoccurring payments, but it could just be like a one-time flat fee payment plan as well. But the question is now, okay, so we have our membership levels. How do we make sure that each membership level is assigned the correct pages, am I right? We're following along here, it's a process. So, to do this, it's super simple. What we do is once we have our levels, we now go in over here to contacts and CRM. And then when you get in here, you'll see two new sections. You'll see member list and you'll see member permissions. This is where the magic now happens, guys. Member permissions gets clicked and then you'll see something pop up. Bingo, you'll see all of your membership levels sitting right here. Now, to edit them and edit the permissions in each one, we can come in here, and by the way, you can see there's already one created for all members, so this one is all members of the site, and typically this is just overarching access to your entire website. Any member here gets just access to all member pages unless it's exclusive to one of these different paid membership options. Now to edit these and to edit the pages they get access to, you'll come in here, you'll click the three buttons, or the three little dots, you'll click edit role, and then you'll see right here, you have your role name, you can change the role color if you want to a different color uh, to differentiate so when you're tracking and looking at them, you can tell. You could add a little description up to 1500 characters, and then you can see page permissions. So. It says right here, this role doesn't have page permissions. Go to manage permissions to set permissions for this role. If we click manage here, it'll pop up and it'll say there are no member only pages. Well, we're gonna take a quick detour and I'm gonna show you how to set that quick. So, let's just say we want, I'm, I know these pages aren't actually gonna be member pages for you guys, but let's just say we want um, this pricing plans page right here, this pricing plans. It's different than plans and pricing at the bottom. This is just a random page I created. We want to set this and we want this pricing plans to be part of the gold membership. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna go to settings. When you're in there, you're gonna go here to permissions and you're gonna click members only. Then, once you do that, you can see what language is the login screen and then which roles can access this page. And it's right here that you can choose. It'll pop up. Let's wait for it, it'll load. Member permissions, bingo. This is awesome. So now you just set this plans and pricing page to members only and now you can select which groups get access to this membership page. So in this case, I said we're gonna have it be gold membership exclusive. So we just simply uncheck every one of them and only check gold. And then we click save. 
Now, only gold members can access this plans and pricing page. Everyone can click on it and everyone can attempt to log in, but only gold member level access can access this page. It's very, very intuitive, very awesome. Wix, you outdid yourself with this one. You finally added a paid membership option for this community. Guys, oh my gosh, I am thrilled. I, I am absolutely thrilled. I have been trying to provide you guys workarounds and solutions to this forever. I got the opportunity to meet with a lot of Wix product managers, even with, met with Wix upper management in Miami at their first ever WixCon 2018 about three weeks ago. Awesome experience. They invited me down there to speak at the event. I have an email and a video coming about that, but I got the opportunity to talk with all of them and they released this to us and told us about this. This is awesome. It's finally out. So I hope you guys take advantage of this and definitely go utilize it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Like this video, guys. Put thumbs up on this. This is awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert. Also, if you're interested in learning more about me and learning more about Wix, head over to weeklywixwednesday.com where I send out exclusive tips, tricks, and tutorials in an email every Wednesday. And you guys get some awesome content. I'm always dropping value bombs over here, such as little things like this. And I'm going to go more into depth on these type of videos soon. But just another awesome feature that Wix has released. And I promise you guys, Wix has a ton more coming this year. So you're going to want to stay tuned on this list and on my channel. I promise you that. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure. Again, if you need any more details on how to get this to work, let me know. But Wix has created a pretty user-friendly plan here to make this happen. The next step of this would be integrating with Wix code a little bit and building custom profile pages or dashboards. I will get into that, but I'm going to cover first the basics and release at least this first portion because this will get you guys off to the races for anyone that has been waiting. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.